Hello and welcome again to this edition of Fight TV. I'm your host, Brad Swanson. We are here at the opening day of uh, the Florida 2020 legislative session. I'm joined by Anthony DeMarco, uh, Executive Vice President of the Florida Bankers Association. Welcome, Anthony. Thank you, sir. Thank you for having me. Well, it, it's been a long time coming. I've wanted to get you guys on the show. You guys are a great organization, uh, flagship uh, Bankers Association for the country, and uh, we're grateful to have you thank on. You, thank you very much. A uh, couple of amazing programs that you guys are working on. One is PACE. What is PACE? PACE is a uh, good lending program for green energy and hurricane hardening okay. your home. It sounds great. Yeah. The problem with it is, from our standpoint, is that if you get a PACE loan, it, it gets paid before the mortgage. Mm -hmm. In a foreclosure proceeding, that'd be bad. In a lending proceeding, that'd right. be bad. Uh, the, the main lenders out in the country who buy the loans from the banks, they will not finance or refinance a property that has a PACE loan on it with right. uh, priority. What happens then is the homeowner has to pay that off before he sells his or her home, or they have to adjust their price down to right. take that loan in. And people don't understand what they're getting themselves into by getting Imagine small and large banks all across that are banking small and large businesses we, across the, they all get affected by that, Yes, right? sir. All, okay. all of our customers have mortgages of some we'll, standing. We'll, we'll, we'll pay attention to yes, what sir. the That's Florida great. bankers are doing in that, in that world. So, all right, so next issue. It's a new day in Florida, right? Cannabis is on the, uh, mm -hmm. on the docket. Let's talk a little bit about that. What's happening up in D.C. on uh, and cannabis, and how's that going to potentially affect Florida? <laughs> yeah, we're pushing, uh, we're helping support a bill uh, called the SAFE Act. Mm -hmm. It's passed the House. It's in the Senate. It's in the Senate Banking Committee, where they hopefully will start working on it soon. The, the issue is we're not taking a position on marijuana smoking or not right. smoking, right. recreational or medicinal. Right. The whole issue is how do you bank the cannabis shops or those who work with cannabis shops. How right. do you bank the, the, the plumbers right. that go in there? How do you how do you bank the uh, the the cleaning crew that go in once right. a week or however often? How do you bank the employees? Right now, everyone is paid in cash. Right. So there's all this cash flying around. It's open to crime. It's open to other illicit activities. Right. And we're just trying to get some legislation through in Washington that will set parameters on how we can bank those sure. people and the cannabis shops yeah, themselves. you got over, over 35 states out there mm -hmm. that have legalized uh, cannabis yes. in some form or another. Florida's one. Um, never did I think there would be a day where I'd be talking to you about cannabis right. policy at the <laughs> federal and the state le le legislature, but here yeah. we are today talking about it. Well, first of all, I know you guys are busy, and I know every day for the Florida Bankers Association is rife with, with uh, big-time conversations about Florida's financial system. So thank you for you got taking it. time to come on Fi TV. I appreciate and, uh, it. And we'll continue to watch watch the big moves of all the right. Florida Bankers Association in this year's legislature. Thanks so, a lot. Appreciate it. On. Appreciate Take it. Take care. Thanks.